Simon, if you finna terrorize the hell out of us after Portia get on this show, then I don't even want Portia back on the doggone show, okay? What to do with that, y'all? This girl such a craziness. I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another word on the street segment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So, yes, y'all, we are back again with another segment of what the hell was you thinking? <laughs> Period, point blank. What the hell was you thinking? Starring Portia Williams and Simon Scammer Man Gubadia. Okay, so. The streets are saying Portia Williams is out here exposing Simon for using a fake ID to obtain his green card in the middle of their divorce battle. I said, what the hell? So she then took to her Instagram and she had said this. Happy Wednesday. If a person concealed criminal past and provided fake identification for a green card, is it still a valid green card in the U.S.? Hashtag inquiring minds. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Why did you... Why? Because you know this man is petty as hell. He just like a... He, somebody give him a peach at this point. Give this man a peach. Because that's what he want. He want, he want a peach. He wants to be like Peter, a.k.a. Patricia. Yeah, he wants a peach. Samantha wants a peach at this point. He do. But then in her captions, she says, hashtag glass houses. So I'm thinking she throwing shots or throwing shade back at Simon because a post he had posted yesterday said, I'm going to need people to stop talking about citizenship because a family member engaged unsuccessfully in relinquishing their U.S. citizenship for tax avoidance purposes hashtag stop throwing stones at glass houses so i'm um, tying it back to portia's post where she said hashtag glass houses so we all get with a correlation with a connection where i'm going with this do y'all let me know in the comment section below now you did have people in the comments um you know getting on portia one person said oh no portia don't do this on social media since you picked him learn your lesson and move on she said nope every circus needs a ringmaster. don't try and play innocent that marriage was purely an agreement i mean arrangement well hell agreement and you know it you didn't love him i wish prior to marriage that is the question that needs to be asked i asked and was lied to was you really because Fallon said, you know, well, she said he um told her some stuff, but she didn't know a lot of stuff. I was like, well, see, you never really know a person now, do you? What, what, what is his occupation? Because I see a lot of people online. <laughs> Y'all not about to get I'm, me caught up in this. I'm not trying to be funny. I just see a lot of people online asking, like, what does he do for a living? Right, and, you right, know, right, he, right. you know, he responded to one of the comments. But, you know, I'm asking you, you, you were actually no well she worked it with them right with the businesses. gas thing yeah gas so he helped me start my petroleum logistics company and he was selling oil and i transported his oil for mm. him oh, that's a good um he stole that company though okay. it was just for me to get it started i guess because i'm a citizen i don't know what Ooh. what the reason was behind it honestly uh that's just my assumption well he stole the company from you mm -hmm. oh yeah, because she doesn't have Legally it. stolen. Yeah, it was called TDL. It was named after my sons, Troy, Dylan, Liam. Um, and it's now called KLC or something like that. Oh, wow. So, wait, you you didn't have full ownership of the, of the company or he oh, was... Oh, I did. So, how did he steal it from you? He's allegedly a scammer. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Boom. Shit, I'm she lost. Up, right? That wasn't his she first time. She one day and it was gone. Damn. Hey, hey. I was gotcha. just in love and then I was butterflies <laughs> and rainbows. Like, okay, gotcha. you want to do this for me? Okay, yeah. yeah. Stupid. Gotcha. What do you hear? You a piece of paper like, yeah, sign off on this real quick, baby. Um. Got some money coming in for us. Yeah, I mean, I'm not illiterate. So, of course, I read every okay. contract that he gave oh, me. Oh, that's good. Um, okay. I signed off on everything. It was legit. It really was. Okay. Until it wasn't. But no, I ain't saying it wasn't about. legit. I was just saying, like, how did he steal the company from you? Maybe like, he was the... Transfer papers. Or one of the... Okay, you know what? So he was listed as the agent... Got it. ...on my company. And at that mm -hmm. point, at some point, he kind of just 
took everything and took over with just that uh, label. I don't know how Hmm. he was able to do that, though. But being realistic, right? So, and I think that that's what people kind of forget. You're Mm -hmm. around this man with money and power and education. So you're going to trust him. You see him successful. Exactly. So, of course, you're going to think, oh, you want to give me a business? How? And then he was black on top of it. I was was on cloud nine. Yes. Looking back, do you see that? Do you pay attention to moments that you probably Mm -hmm. easily could have missed? Like, damn, I was very not. I wasn't thinking at this particular moment, but he really was taking advantage of me in this particular space. Do you think back on specific moments where you could have been maybe a little bit more uh, on point with how you thought about yeah, your conversations and yeah. actions? Yeah, I mean, as it pertains to me and Simon, like he, we were, or I was in love okay. and... um I think that if I wasn't as blinded, okay. then I probably would have seen, I would have seen everything, okay. most likely. But then the marriage and the relationship wouldn't have lasted very long. Because, you know, once you put them on blast, they don't want to hear that. They just want to keep having their cake and eat it, too. Mm. So... So, you know, Scammer Man, he coming up out them bushes, okay? And he has head... I'm going to need people who think there are 265 days in the year to stay out of understanding complex U.S. immigration laws above your mediocre mind. I said, no, he ain't here getting back like he one of the women. No, he is not getting back at her like he is one of the women to be more careful but in the caption he wrote of course what am i thinking only a housewife trying to pull the check of a real housewife i don't know what he meant by that if y'all know what he meant by that let your girl know in the comment section below i think he was trying to say you know i ain't even gonna try to uh decipher that cryptic mix message he got going on because you have given more fodder for the blogs then the whole cast of the Real Housewives of Atlanta have at this point. And I'm just sitting here. I'm like, you didn't have all this disdain for the girl when you was married to her. You know, granted, we don't know exactly what happened behind the scenes. But she was all lovey-dovey taking pictures, doing videos with her all in front of the camera and stuff. It wasn't no problem. I tell you, when you get divorced, just all your true colors come on out, just seeping through the skin. Do you hear me? Child, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Simon is hurt. Simon is hurt. The average man put in a situation like what Simon and Portia are going through, the average man goes on about his business, handles the legal stuff, doesn't have time to go back and forth with no woman and to be spraying stuff all on social media. Every other day, Simon is taking jabs at Portia, saying something backhanded, writing subliminal messages, so on and so forth. And this, y'all, is the behavior of somebody who is upset because they have lost access to the other person. Whenever you see somebody being quiet, going on about their business, And the other person in an unprovoked manner is just going on and on and on and saying stuff. They are trying to get a reaction out of the other person. And what life has taught me is that when people do not have access to you physically, they will try to gain access to your emotions. And the worst thing Portia could have ever did was come up off of her mute, her hiatus of talking about Simon, coming up off her mute game. The moment she clapped back just a little bit at Simon, unbeknownst to her, all she did was fueled him to go harder. And that is what he's doing. But I think Portia, she just wanted to step her foot in the fire and see how hot it was going to get. And here we is. So y'all tell me what y'all think about this in the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next one.